A tense day on Mount Hood after a climber falls hundreds of feet. Just knew it was going to be bad because I, I, he was going fast and he kind of went head, head first. The man survived, but rescue crews had a very difficult day trying to get him down to safety. It is 6 o'clock, and good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Kelly Day. Soft, unstable snow and these warm temperatures made it a difficult rescue near the Hog's Back. That's at about 10,000 feet up Mount Hood. Coin Local 6 reporter Amy Frazier is live with more on that rescue you saw first on 6. Amy? Authorities say Gary Morgan is really extremely lucky to be alive and that he really didn't have all the necessary equipment to be climbing Mount Hood. After a rescue that lasted the entire day, crews moved Morgan from a snowcat to an ambulance near Timberline Lodge that was right around 4.30. The Michigan man was awake and moving his feet. We're told Morgan has multiple injuries, including injuries to his hip and leg. This was his first time climbing Mount Hood, and it was a solo climb. Rescue crews say he was wearing a bike helmet instead of a climbing helmet. They also say he was wearing some brown hiking boots instead of mountaineering boots and that one of the crampons came off. Just after 9 a.m., Morgan fell several hundred feet near the hog's back. Witnesses say they could hardly believe their eyes. In fact, with a fall like that, they thought he might not survive. I just knew it was going to be bad because I, I, he was going fast and he kind of went head, head first and then he was able to kind of turn around and then he, he landed into the crevasse feet, feet first and he hit hard. He was unconscious, but uh, when we left, he was, they could get his name and talk to him. So um, they were just trying to stabilize him. Now, witnesses say Morgan landed at the edge of the crevasse without actually falling down the deep hole. Both Portland Mountain Rescue and AMR's Reach and Treat team spent the day getting to him and then stabilizing him and then getting Morgan to the ambulance. Tonight, he's been taken to an area hospital. Reporting for you live on Mount Hood, Amy Frazier, Coin Local 6. Thank you, Amy. Now, this is at least the third climber to fall near Mount Hood Summit this year. Back in February, rescue crews recovered the body of 32-year-old Jared Townsley. They found that tigered man at about the 9,200-foot level. Then, less than a week ago, Portland climber Mark Cartier died after falling 1,000 feet. He was climbing the Hogsback area of Mount Hood. Rescuers say that climbing alone or not being equipped for the slick conditions are the two biggest mistakes that people make. They say carrying an ice axe and knowing how to use it is critical and that driving that axe into the snow is often the only way you can stop yourself from a fall.